Roll for Crit coming to you from Gen Con 50 in our lovely hotel room. And one of the things that we got to see this week is the Cryptozoic booth where they had a few new additions to their deck building lineup, both DC and otherwise. Give us the rundown, sir, if you yeah. would. Yeah, so I got... Pretty much all of it, the new stuff they had there, including a couple stuff that, well, I mean, obviously, I think let's start off with the collector's box. This is the box that should hold all of the DC, not all of their buildings, just DC mm -hmm. sleeves, supposedly. And some of the cool stuff comes with, besides being a very nice box. The multiverse box. Is these dividers they have for all the expansions, including the crisis, the dueling, even promos. So that's pretty cool. And of course, all your basic stuff and all the other things you'd expect. So that's really nice. And I'll say even uh, like compared to the Smash Up box, for instance, this is not super ridiculous like to carry around to someone's house or something like that. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a good size. It's deep. You say that now, but wait until I put the cards in it. <laughs> it could be heavy. It could be heavy once it's filled. In addition, it comes with a two new things, which actually there's a divider for, so I'm going to pull that out. First off, it comes with a small expansion, which is actually designed for you to use assuming you have other expansions. They'll have cards such as here, Dick Grayson, in which it says you may choose a base set in the multiverse and gain a random hero from it and put in your hand. And if it costs five or more, you have to discard it. Or you have to destroy Dick Grayson. So you're actually taking things from outside of yeah. the game. That's yeah, things pretty, are getting crazy. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> multiverse. <laughs> and of course, there is a randomizer which lets you help choose what, like which set to use or random things to throw in. Wait, how does that work? There's a deck of cards for that, like a regular cards. Like this is just for the divider for it, but that's meant to be every one. So like choose a random multiverse. Sorry, I pulled out the card. That could come in handy. Yes, very handy. In addition, when you play the multiverse version, everyone gets a special location with their big card. It's like, this is your multiverse location, oh. which gives you more cool stuff. Does it work just like a regular location or like can other people destroy it or no? I don't think, from what I can tell, you can't destroy it. It doesn't count. So if you play Swamp Thing, who gets like bonuses for every location you have, it doesn't count this. Okay. Special thing. Yes. Now, next up, actually, we're going to start with Birds of Prey. This is just a small one. Not much to talk about. I mean, it's the Birds of Prey characters. The thing it brings is cards like this, which are, say, ongoing. So they stay out. And it says, rotate, rotate this card 90 degrees to def defend and attack. And this one in particular, once it goes all the way around, it gets destroyed. The idea being it's all about having ongoing cards and you can use them by rotating them. Okay. So that's very interesting. That's a new a And new I do think this would probably be best, I mean, I'll have to see with the Teen Titan expansion, which actually has a lot of ongoing cards. Hmm. So you probably can actually maybe get them out more. Now this one actually was sold out, I think, out of all the DC procs I saw, at least by Saturday. Yeah. Uh, actually, this is the second one. We'll go to the one that sold out first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's the DC Confrontations box. This is pretty much, if you recall the Batman vs. Joker expansion, this is pretty much the big version of that. Yeah. Yeah. I'll hold it up so, you can, so we can show it off. <laughs> this comes with pretty much the hero and villain for both of them, such as Superman and Lex Luthor. I mean, how can I not choose those two? Makes sense. And just like Batman and Joker, they have three different versions. But in addition, they also have like Lex Luthor related cards and Superman related cards in there, which actually show a logo, which okay. is really interesting. And actually, can, even though, as we know, Batman and Joker was two, this comes with three player rules. By, by you mean 3v3? No, or 2v1. I think it's a free for all. Oh, free for all. All right. I'm I'll, sure. I'm sure took you can me do three guesses. I'm sure you can do 2v2. <laughs> right. Okay. But really cool. Definitely brings a lot of new rules into the game. Yeah, and it's, this is a, another big meaty one compared to Birds of Prey. Though I have to admit, part of me is like, do I need the box? Because I can just throw the cards now in the... <laughs> That's right. They should just have an option to send you these in an in a envelope. <laughs> and it did come with a nice plastic divider, just like Smash Them now. So they, that should be a thing. Going forward, nice dividers. Yes. That's nice. And finally, the first thing to sell out... <laughs> The Rick and Morty deck building game. Well, of a dub dub. <laughs> I was thinking of saying that. I wasn't sure it was to put off, but you uh, do. You know. And it did it. This is based, just like all the other games, on one episode. Uh-huh, uh -huh. Close to Rick and Hunters of the Rick kind. So it came with a promo. I would see. Promo Rick. <laughs> and this plays like all the other ones, with the exception that, first off, your vulnerabilities are Jerry, Beth, and Summer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And there actually will be cards that specifically call them out. So you actually have to think about giving vulnerabilities to opponents because if they have a card that 
supports that vulnerability they actually want it. Right, and you might not want to get rid of your vulnerabilities because no, they I might mean, come in handy. I mean, Jerry. <laughs> but if you have doofus Rick, he loves Jerry. <laughs> in addition, of instead of heroes and villains, you have Ricks and Mortys. Yeah, I mean, why Which not? Which one would you count as heroes and villains if you mix a set? <laughs> I'll let you decide. <laughs> yeah, that's personal interpretation for sure. <laughs> in addition, as we know, in many other sets, they have locations. This does too, but they're not in the main deck. They actually are a separate deck, which you huh. shuffle them and put the location deck token on top so you don't get confused. Portal style, like with the Rick's portal yes. gun, I see. Well, <laughs> the kicks are the portal gun. Okay. And you can use the portal gun to flip over the portal. And it'll be one of the worlds they visit, like such as the pizza world, the chair world, the foam world. And you put it out in front and you can use it. Or you can buy it. But if you don't buy, it gets discarded. So it's like you're visiting it. Okay. So just like how Rick just jumps from places to place randomly, you can do that. So that's very interesting new style, and especially with locations and mixing them too. Because I know one of the thing, problems a lot of people think are like, there's like three or four locations in there. Maybe we'll see one. Mm -hmm. But now you can dig through the location deck with uh, the portal gun, so to speak, if you mix them and find the one that helps you. Yeah, that would definitely be interesting for the other games. Uh, and it sounds like this one also had some more of the uh, goofier kind of uh, party stuff, but not to the extent of, uh, I don't think, Not Cartoon Network. Network, like you could ignore them, but they did have things like the bird world, which was uh, give the bird to another player, all other players draw a card. <laughs> right, so you can, uh, you know, maybe if you're having a good time drinking, watching Rick and Morty, <laughs> engage in some of those activities. I think it's not, it shouldn't push you too far as you thought with the Cartoon Network one, like right, you could just literally play as if it just said mm -hmm. but I mean where's the fun in that right I know I'll find it someday thanks for watching for more Gen Con coverage make sure you like and subscribe to this channel and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at roll for crit and to keep up to date you can check out roll for crit com slash Gen Con 2017 in order to get the latest greatest news on Gen Con from roll for crit